In this video, we will be doing ATI Tease Practice Problem 7, Inequalities. Tom needs to buy ink cartridges and printer paper. Each ink cartridge costs $30. Each ream of paper costs $5. He has $100 to spend. Write an inequality that may be used to find the combinations of ink cartridges and printer paper that he may purchase. Well, first of all, if we're going to set up an inequality, we have to set up our unknowns because every inequality or equation has variables. In this case, we will set C, the variable C, to represent the quantity of ink cartridges purchased by Tom. And P will be the variable to represent the number of paper reams purchased by Tom. Now, since he is purchasing these um, items, we have to set up an inequality that includes the price of these items. In the word problem, it says here that the, each ink cartridge costs $30. So what we're going to do is we're going to start setting up our inequality by including the price. First, we're going to include the price of each ink cartridge, and then we're going to multiply that price, $30, by the quantity purchased. So, if we multiply $30 by C, the quantity of cartridges purchased, that will tell us the total amount that Tom spent on the cartridges. Then, we have to add on the paper that he purchased. So, each paper ream cost five dollars. So if he's going to purchase the paper we're going to have to multiply the five dollars times the quantity of paper reams he purchases which in this case is P. So five times P will represent the total um, cost of his of his paper ream purchase. So if you add these two items together this represents Tom's total cost to purchase both the ink cartridges and the paper reams. Now, another thing we have to consider here is how much he has to spend. This is where the inequality comes into play. He has $100 to spend, correct? So, we know that if he only has $100 to spend, we have to use the inequality that will represent him spending less than or equal to a hundred dollars. So we're going to use this inequality because the pointy side will always face the algebraic expression in question here. Okay, so we know that the total cost that Tom pays for the cartridges in the paper will have to be less than or equal to a hundred dollars or equal to a hundred dollars. So that is our expression. If you found this video helpful, give us a like and share this with anybody that may be taking the uh, ATI uh, practice uh, or the actual test. Um, we're going to be putting up several videos um, that reflect actual problems on the test. Um, so um, Hope you found this helpful. If you have any comments, just comment in, in below the video, and we'll see you in the next one.